Basilica de Macarena. La Macarena is also known as the Weeping Virgin. Sevilla's Holy Week is a grand event. The celebration has 100 floats in the streets, including the lavish ones in this museum. Then Concepcion takes us through the neighborhoods to Sevilla's Cathedral, which is the third largest church in Europe and holds the title for the largest Gothic church anywhere in the world. Here are a few pictures from inside. This is the silver-plated monstrance, a vessel for displaying the communion wafer. After a 330-foot climb to the top of the Geralda Tower, we are presented with a fabulous view of the city. Geralda Tower is a bell tower where the Muslim call to prayer was given when a mosque stood here. These are some of the tools used to build the cathedral. Later, after the crowds thinned out, we went back down for another look around the main floor. Here's the high altar, the largest altarpiece ever made, 65 feet tall, with 44 scenes from the life of Jesus and Mary, carved from walnut and chestnut and covered with gold leaf. Here is the tomb of Christopher Columbus carried by kings, representing the four different regions of Spain. And a cathedral would not be complete without its treasure. Oh, so much gold and silver. This wooden ring is one of 12 that was used to support the pillars inside during a refurbishment process. Big cathedrals call for big maintenance projects. After a hard day of touring, it was time for fried fish at Friaduria La Isla. Highly recommended. Then back to our Hotel Amadeus for a siesta, because this evening we are treated to a traditional flamenco presentation at Casa de la Memoria.
Plaza de la Encarnación is something rather unusual, a revitalization project that the locals call the mushrooms. Roman ruins in the basement, covered by a 100-foot tall wooden waffle-like structure. Nothing really. It's, they put something to this work. Next morning, breakfast is served on the rooftop of Hotel Amadeus. Then we take a stroll through the Barrio Santa Cruz, Sevilla's once thriving Jewish quarter. And we find ourselves at the Royal Alcazar. Originally built by the Moors in the 10th century, it still functions as a royal palace. The decorated halls and courtyards have the distinctive Islamic style throughout. Hall of the Ambassadors, the cubic shaped throne room is topped with a huge half dome. Courtyard of the Maidens, King Pedro built this with the rectangular reflecting pool for his mistress after abandoning his wife. Hall of the Tapestries contains 18th century copies of 16th century Belgian tapestries depicting various Spanish conquests. The banquet hall is decorated with colorful ceramic tile of whimsical human figures with vase-like bodies. And on to the gardens. After the Alcazar tour, we are on our own. We stroll by the bull ring and have lunch of gourmet tapas at La Azotea Bar. What a treat! Javier books us all for a carriage ride from our Hotel Amadeus to the Plaza de España, the site of the 1929 International Fair.
that brings us to our last supper together at the very nice Tabernera del Alabardero. Here's a few shots inside the lobby of Hotel Amadeus. And that completes the Rick Steves portion of our trip.